I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later. Looks like the place. Working for Marcana? Used to be a lot here. My daddy and my uncles? Sure, they saw some action, but they always came out whole. What's your point, kid? Just feels like I missed out on the best times. The golden age. Don't fool yourself. The golden age still got a lot of folks dead. One way or another. You see Frank when he drove up? The bastard looks like he's aged 20 years. Between Castro, Lacoon, and the 50 G's of that paper inside, I can kind of see why. Ain't welcome here, numb nuts. Anything to you? Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Mulcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, how? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was... 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. <laughs> Fuck! I 
I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was. A monster. Guess this is where we find which direction you and I are headed. My expectations here have not faltered. And while you appear to be leaning in my direction, let me remind you in no uncertain terms. This turf comes to me. You need to let this play out, Cassandra. I understand your position, but I need to hear from everyone. You gotta decide how important she is. Where she fits in the future of what we're doing. If she don't, cut her the fuck loose. Piss off as many folks loyal to you as possible? Is that your plan? In what world does that make any goddamn sense? You'll do what's right here, Lincoln, or there will be blood in the streets of the holler again. Cassandra wants to walk? Let her. Fuck that, Floozy. I'm not stepping aside for the likes of her. Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh bucatini for you. You cock things up this far, but you can still make it right between us. Anytime you want to make a call, I'm good with that. You do right by me, or you'll be seeing Richard Doucette again real soon. So what? I value our partnership, Cassandra, but I hope you understand. I gotta go with Vito on this. God damn it! You no different than Marcana, Georgia, or Sammy. Except because you had a real chance to do some good for the holler. But you turned your back once again on the people who loved you. Oh, damn it, Trucky. Pissing people off is becoming your goddamn hobby. Deal with Cassandra properly, and then you make shit right with me. Sorry to say this, pal. Really, I am. But she's got to be done. I know. I'll take care of her. Don't worry. For now, we're done here. I'll circle up with you later on. Look, I gave you some names, and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so we could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer. A leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself, so he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats, so his rackets are pretty low-key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. 